Hey everybody, it's Tuesday. Now it's a day that I normally don't do the workshop updates, but I happen to be sitting at the uh, finishing desk this morning and I've got a lot in front of me, so I'm like, well, why not? Let's just go ahead and do one because it's probably some stuff you guys haven't seen in a while, um, if at all. Uh, there's a couple of new things going on, so we'll briefly touch on them and uh, show you what's going on in the shop this morning. We've got a lot to get through, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing that I want to touch on real quick is this little guy. This is a very light colored pattern for a rainbow trout. There's five of these going out this morning and a 1.5. You can see those real eyes. Man, I'm just digging those real eyes. I, I, there's a lot of eyes that I have. Obviously, that's full. I've got more stuff over here. Um, but these just look so good. When, uh, when I first discovered the fish skulls, living eyes, I was all about them, but this, I mean, these are just great. I love these eyes, and they come in this color and also a red color. Um, I prominently use these, especially on natural patterns, match the hatch type stuff like rainbow trouts and shad and all kinds of that. Speaking of shad, we have the dusted shad. I've got a bunch of those. I've got three more over here, and I've got some lipless that are on the clear rack. It's a four-piece order that's going out this morning. Actually, tomorrow morning. The lipless will be done tomorrow morning because um, I was waiting on a shipment to get in. So I got those in, I'm fully restocked on lipless. But this is a very simple pattern. The dusted shad has got just a little bit of accent on the top, on the nose, and around the eyes. And then it's got that little small shad dot and just a little bit of Maui blue on the, on the tip of the tail. Uh, everybody asks about the pen that I use. The pen that I use most frequently are the Uniballs. These Vision Elites, they are permanent, they're waterproof, and they are awesome to write with. And there's various sizes. I use the um, the Micro Point Fine, which is like a point zero zero seven, I think, or maybe three. I don't, anyways, it's it's tiny. And then I use the just the regular Fine Point up from that. So those are the Dusted Shad. There are a few of them. Um, I really like the way. The 62 line came out. This is that 625A that uh, Cedar Run is carrying here in the States. And then I, I've mentioned it before, but these are just excellent swimmers. If you guys are looking for something a little bit different than a than a shallow bill, square bill, you know, like the, you, if you're tired of the 1.5s or the S's or the 2.5s, give these things a look. Um, the, the longer bill, and I do have a longer bill, this is almost like a coffin bill. This is the 5B. This is that. Um, this is the one that Dinger is carrying. So each of them has a, a variation of this bait, but they're just they're weighted correctly. They swim phenomenal. This is one of my favorite swimmers this year. This is probably going to be my favorite blank of 2019, just because it's practical. I love the way it's built. I love how how rugged the lips on these things are. Um, they're just, they're great all the way around. This is that sassy gill. Just to give you a little bit more detail on this, it's a very plain build. I've done some different things with this over the, over the years. I've added some orange into the cheeks and I've done the red dot on it, but this is just a no-nonsense sassy gill. And this is one of the builds that I was doing for a customer on Saturday when I filmed the last tips and tricks. So just that's also a very very cool pattern this is on a strike king just a little sunfish pattern still working on the uh, the color combinations on this definitely going to be a, a match the hatch type deal um, this also this gill through and you can see that there is not a speck of oh can we get it where is it at? There's the focus. Um, not a speck of junk that I have to clean out of these gills. Uh, just if you guys follow the instructions on what I showed you how to do in this last video, this is towards the end when I clear coat this one. Um, so if you need to fast forward just to get that information, you're welcome to do that. Um, but this is, this is, I've never had a problem with clogging of clear coat as long as you follow what I'm telling you guys how to do. So this is just a, a little bit different of a pattern. 
and I think that it's going to be a pretty pretty solid pattern. These things, and look, look at those eyes. Those are John's eyes. Where's he at? He is right there. That's him. One of many that he carries. So go check him out at justinlures.com. This right here is the new Gold Rush. And it is a, sh a paint shifting color, uh, like an iridescence. You can see it, it runs from red into gold and shifts very nicely. Love, 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 love this paint. Um, it, it is a, um, oh shoot, what is it? Well, I've mixed a little bit. It's a pearlized copper and gold mixed with the, um, the Chroma Art series. So definitely worth giving it a look. And it turns that orange under certain lights and then you get down and, and it transfers into gold, almost like a champagne color. But lots of fun, lots of, lots of flash and pop on this. Just love the Gold Rush. Very cool. And then I'm using a, a mixture of, now this is a, that's a Wicked Detail Black Smoke. It's not a traditional black, opaque, or transparent. It's, uh, it's the actual black smoke is the color. And you can look for that at, uh, at Amazon or at Createx or any of the Spray Gunner, any of the Coastal Air, any of the places that sell the, the Wicked line. But Amazon, Amazon has it too, for cheap actually. If you guys want, uh, leave me a comment and I'll get you a link. I don't have it readily available right at this second. What else do we have to show you guys this morning? This is a uh, natural crappie going out to my buddy Jerry back in Maryland. Maryland, my Maryland. This is similar to the Imperial Crawl. This is the Colorado Crawl. A little bit of iridescent. You can see that shape shift, or shape shift. You can see the color shift. You can tell, see, I've got coffee, I promise. Um, there is a color shift on the nose from that black magenta into that pearlized purple. A little bit of blush on the throat. The detailing is done with black magenta. It's a little, it's a little piece of dust on here. This is on that, on the pointer replica. Good rattles in this. I like the rattles. It's a good sound. And got one of these. Also a fun eye. This is the Pescado Loco, or Crazy Fish. And this is those, um, the Jetson orange dragon eyes. And this is a pretty basic one, tangerine up into a red. This is that um, Husky Jerk Rapala into a very deep red and a little bit of purple on the nose. So there are those. And I think that's what we got for you. You guys have seen those already. I know that I've featured them before. Oh, I do have another run. Now there's a couple of sizes of runs that are running around. This is the W Lore version, and I have not swam this. I think that's proper phrasing, swam it. I haven't, I haven't float tested this basically. I have not run this bait. I have run the other one that I got from the distributor themselves, and this is phenomenal, these, these little guys. But this is a smaller version that W Lure is carrying. So I just wanted to kind of see in comparison how this runs. I ran the snot out of the custom one. It's, as a matter of fact, it's still out in the Jeep on the rod. The custom one that I resprayed uh, of this size, and it swims awesome. So love these and uh, right now I think mystery tackle box is carrying uh, Carl's bait shop they are carrying the runt version under the under branded under the Carl's name it's either or Ketchco. I think it was under Carl's um, it was a couple of couple of months ago it came out in the mystery tackle box so go check them out um, that is gonna do it for this morning 
you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I will talk to you guys real soon. We've got a bunch more coming out this week. I'm going to get back up to speed. Um, I've sort of gotten a little bit more caught up. I've been putting some long hours in. So uh, the next thing that we're going to do, I'm probably going to be featuring, I've got a, a 60 piece run that I'm going to be doing and it's different baits. It's not all the same pattern. So that's going to be a fun one. So you guys will probably be a part of that in bits and pieces. So you get to see how we do, how we tackle big, bigger orders. It's not the biggest that I've done, but it's definitely a bigger order. Um, so I want to bring you guys in on that. Oh, yeah, yeah, gilly gilly. I almost forgot. Um, I have tested this, pattern tested it, obviously, at pretty much anything that's on this pattern. Um, any, any kind of gill is going to work in most of the country, wherever you are. Um, this is going out to Greg this morning. That short bill, the 62.5A. And this is, uh, this is a new gill pattern that I've been working on. So there you go. That's all the news that fit, that's fit to print. I'm going to get back to my coffee and get back to spraying. You guys have a great rest of your day, and we will see you soon. Cheers and happy casting. Thank you.